Hey everyone, it's Super Bowl day. If you can see over here in my background on the screen, I have the Super Bowl playing. So today we're gonna be doing a little something special. I know you guys always see my RGB lights. You can see them back here, the little LED strip. Um, you can see, you can't really see it, but the nail leaf is over there. Um, and then we have this right here. This is a hue light that will be turning on pretty soon. So what we want to do is we want to detect when the team scores without using the external API. We're going to be using uh, OCR, Apu Character Recognition, um, using OpenCV and PyTesseract. So we're going to use OpenCV just to massage the image and we'll also be using Peel um, to grab the screen capture of the, of the screen of my MacBook. And um, we'll, after we determine if a team has scored, we'll send it over to the Hue Lights. So here's the plan. We'll watch the Super Bowl live. It's Sunday night uh, after 6 p.m. And we want to grab the team scores. And uh, the way we want to do that is not by using a regular API. We don't want to use a regular API. That's boring. Who wants to do that? We're going to be using computer vision. Well, we're going to be using Pill to grab the screen capture uh, using Python. After we grab the screen capture, we're going to want to have a region of interest. You'll see this little box right here. We have the New England on the left side and the Rams on the right side. We want to grab that box, process it through an optical character recognition library. Uh, we're going to be using PyTesseract. And then after, turn that down. After we get that, we want to process it. Make sure that the last score isn't any less than this new score, and as well as making sure that it's a digit. If it's not a number, we don't want it because PyTesseract is kind of iffy. Sometimes you'll get like you'll see some ABCs when you're trying to read like 16, which is what I read earlier. And uh, it took a while to figure out how to get it to work correctly. But um, I already now I have it working correctly, and uh, well, not towards this game. We're gonna have to edit this a little bit, uh, edit the code a little bit because I was using a previous recording of another Super Bowl. But anyway, we're gonna grab this, these two scores and process it. And then when we get that score, if the score is more, if the new score is more than the last score, it's gonna be considered a goal. And we're gonna flash these hue lights. And we're also gonna see something like, so we're gonna flash the hue lights. Rams scored. Yeah. So we're gonna flash a few lights and it's also gonna say who scored. Um, so hopefully, I don't know, I don't watch a lot of football at all. So I don't know if these two teams switch over after halftime, uh, but if they do, we're gonna have to edit that and make sure that we're using team one as Rams and then New England is gonna be team two. But for now, it's good because we're in the first quarter. And um, so yeah, so let's try it out. Okay, so we're back. So we're gonna have this first team last score uh, well, this, F, this first team region of interest, we're gonna make that none. Um, and we're gonna make second team region of interest none as well. These are the values that I had before, but we're not gonna be using those anymore because I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think that region of interest is gonna work for the video that I used before. Uh, this is a new Super Bowl video and it looks like the position has changed um, and they updated it. I think the Super Bowl I was watching was 2015. So yeah, so we're gonna grab the new region of interest every time we start the program. All right, we're back. Commercial's over. We're ready to get started. Oh, commercial's not over. What is going on now? They're doing replays? All right, let's just try to program out while it's running. So we're gonna run the program. Come over here. So you see it converts to black and white. When the team gets more than two digits, or more than one digit, we wanna make sure we're capturing that. So we'll make the box a little bigger. That's New England, that's the first team, so we press enter. And now we have the second team, which is the Rams. This box, this box is probably too small, but we don't have to worry about that right now. All right, here we go. Ah, one of the teams scored, I didn't realize it. All right, we come over here. Region of interest for this number, the Patriots, they have three right now. And then the Rams have zero. Patriots scored. So now you can see right here, second team score has, it says IT. See, this is what I'm talking about. PyTestRack is really iffy. 
and you gotta get like the perfect region of interest in order for it to work correctly. And I don't know, I don't know right now why it's not working. Um, so I'm gonna have to get a manual region of interest when I can be able to select it. Because when I select it, something is not gonna work right. You also seen that things uh, lit up, the hue light lit up in this, it said Patriots scored because Patriots have three points now. So that was read correctly. And it did, They technically they did score because they came from zero points. Um, well, the, in the code it says zero points and they had, now they have three points. So they did score. So we got to manually change that as well. So everything's kind of hard coded right now uh, for the most part. But yeah, the reason of interest will also have to be hard coded. So I'm about to get that really soon. Okay, so we're back. We're running the program live. We have our hard-coded region of interest in here, and it looks like the score is working, working correctly, as you can see on the screen. We have pitcher score three, eagle score zero. And now I'm gonna let the program run, and when they score, we'll come back to that, because we're not gonna wait for a score to happen, you know? It's gonna take, it may take forever. This game is taking forever. I've been waiting for the score. Patriots did not score. Anyway, I've been waiting for a long time. We've been getting a lot of false positives and stuff, but it's about to be a field goal attempt. So hopefully this will determine if it, the app is actually working or not. And we should see who's, Rams is about to kick it off. So hopefully this field goal goes through and we get it reacting. There we go, it worked! The Rams <laughs> scored. I didn't know anything, it worked. It took a little while, but it worked. We look at it right here. So Rams score went to 3-3, and then it went back to zero because the commercial went on, and now I can't find the words, but it went to 3-3 right here. So we actually had a score right here. So perfect, it's working. We finally got an attempt. And um, I like that. We're going to try one more. Hopefully, there's another touchdown before the end of the game. I want to see a touchdown. I'm tired of these field goals. Um, but yeah, we're going to try one more. So, we'll be back. So, this is the first red zone we have tonight. I just learned where the red zone is. <laughs> but this is the first red zone we have tonight. So, it may be a touchdown about to happen. Let's watch. Hey! Touchdown! All right, wait till the okay. So now, you see the screen right here. Patriots score. There it is. You see it? And here it is flashing. It's blue. You can't tell because there's pink lights behind it, so I was messing it up a little bit. Patriots score. Uh, says it scored seven. Oh, there it is. Patriots scored nine. That's where it is. You'll be able to see on the um, screen capture. But okay, so we had two confirmations that actually works. So I think we're safe, it's safe to assume that this is working correctly. And it's showing the exact score, nine to three. Um, so I think we're good. I think we're pretty good to go. Oh, and there was a there was a field goal too. So hopefully, there it is, there it is again. We're in business, we're in business. All right, wait for this score to come up. Hopefully it says 10, it says 10. Happy. I'm happy. I'm happy it's work because we did this live. We didn't we didn't really have a lot of preparation beforehand. So we did it. We did what we came to do. We tracked the team scores, made sure that the last score was greater than the no, make sure the last score is less than the new score. And if it's less than, then it's counted as a score. And we flashed our lights, we said who scored, and we did it. We made our live tracker without any API, we made our own API. And we can put, we can bring this out to the world, you know. We can get this out to the world. Anyone can use this. I know, like the NFL APIs, I think they're like they're closed and stuff like that. You can't get in. Only certain companies you get in. Um, but we made our own using uh, using OCR, optical character recognition. So we did it. Now I'm not gonna finish this Super Bowl, but I'm gonna leave the thing going to make sure that it's actually working still. And um, we confirmed that it's working. We had three different goals. We have we have some false negative, so false positives. We do have some false positives. Score like this. We have a false positive when there is no score going on, or something changes like out of nowhere. But um, we can handle that. There's different ways we can handle that. 
but um, right now we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. We just wanted to accomplish that. If the score changes, we wanted to react to it, and we did. That being said, I'll see y'all soon for my next video. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. Oh, I thought he was about to score, but I guess not. But I'll see y'all next time.